So in this video I'm going to show you how you can pimp your page. That is to say just uh, complete it a bit more, fill it out and get it ready to launch to your audience. The first thing we need to do is find your page and because it's not let yet live you're not going to see it anywhere so we have to go looking for it. So you need to go to this down arrow here on the top right and look for manage pages here. Click on that and we'll see the test page that I set up in one of my previous videos. So if we click on that and that will bring up the page, you'll see there's the the, uh, the cover and the logo that I added earlier. Okay, so what we're going to do now is scroll down here and on the right hand side you probably have to scroll down the page a bit here we're going to the about section and we're going to complete this section in more detail so click on see all and that will bring it up to the main into the main section of the page and we're just going to go through this step by step and start adding in some key details okay uh, one of the most important things, and we'll come to this first, would be to add in your website address here. So, click on that. Uh, www. Now, this page doesn't actually have a website, but if it did, I would have a matching URL. Save that. Good. Uh, but let's go back up to the top. So edit some business details here. Uh, price range, well I'm going to say ours is very cheap. Um, I find this area a bit difficult to explain because I think it's all relative and it depends on what industry you're in. But I think you need to just make a judgement based on your own industry um, as to whether how, how cheap or inexpensive or expensive your price ranges are. Um, what is quite useful is to let people know if you have parking, if you have street parking or a car park nearby. If you've got your own customer car park then I think that's really useful information to share. Anyone that actually knows Cambridge will realise that there is no such thing as a car park for a store here. Okay, start date, well that's the year that you're business was born, founded, opened, launched, created. Um, if it's been running for a while then you can say that it opened, let's just say it opened in, oh goodness, it's uh, opened in the future. We'll um, perhaps put a more relevant date in there, 1982. I'm not going to put a month in there, I don't think you need to. Email address, that would be a contact email. Really important that you put this, these kind of basic contact information on here because this might be the only way that people find you and want to get in touch with you. So again I'm making up an email address here and please make sure you've got a good email address that matches your website and not a personal Yahoo or Gmail one. This just looks so much more professional. <coughs> Uh, that might be because it's not linked to anything. Let's try again. No. Okay, so it really does need to be a valid email address there. I can't fill anything in because that's not a working email address. So I'll leave that off for now, but you need to put a, a valid and working email address and it obviously is checking that before it will allow you to save it to your page. This is quite an interesting section. You can connect, if you do have other um, social media accounts like Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat or YouTube or even Pinterest, you can add that here. Um, it's especially important for Instagram because Instagram is actually owned by Facebook. So you have the opportunity later on to do some advertising across both platforms. Um, so if you have any of those other social media um, accounts already set up, then you can add them in there. You can come back and do this later as well. So um, that's good to know. And the only other one I'm going to look at on this section here is if you happen to be a restaurant, then you can add in your standard menu here. 
these other sections are predominantly for businesses that are based in um, overseas where it is a legal requirement to have some of this legal information here. If you have that from your website, then you can add it and that's great to do so. Let's scroll up. And then this is a really interesting section. This used to be called long description. So if you've had a Facebook page in the past, then you're probably aware of this. And this is basically where you can really um, add some details about your business, the founders, uh, how you came to be. And you sh it would be a really good place to actually literally write your story. Um, that's a really nice spot to do it in. It's a searchable field on um, search engines. So feel quite free to be uh, quite descriptive here. And this is the alternative to the short description that we filled in when we first set up our page. And then the other really important section that we're going to finish off is this button here. This is what we call a call to action button. This is the button that we want people to actually do something with. So at the very, very least, I would like you to make that a call us button. But if you have some options like a website where you can book courses or events or something like that, or a place where the people can order food, then that is a really good place to add that button. Get in touch at the very least is what you need to put in there. Either call now or contact us. Um, but definitely don't leave that blank because it has quite a prominent place on your page. And that's it. That's all the key sections you need to make sure that your page is fully pimped.